the what is there in this question which Feynman diagram describes the annihilation of an electron and its antiparticle so my dear student this is talking about uh, the pair annihilation uh, diagram there are two things one is called pair production another is pair annihilation and why is that we have done this thing even in the topic 5.1 when we were learning about the properties of charges there was one property which was conservation of charge if you remember it it is given in your books also you can just go and re revise those things so the conservation of charge means that charge cannot be created nor destroyed so what was um, the uh, output of that that um, thing so it said that either the electron and the positron they will react they will uh, they will just um, collide with each other and things will be converted into energy so the mass is converted into energy this is called annihilation like annihilation of two particles one is particle here another one is the antiparticle and the same thing can be taken place in the other way around also that whenever the charges they are coming into existence they will come into existence in pair like you cannot create a positive charge independently you have if you have created a positive charge counter negative charge will be created this is simple in simple terms we can say it is conservation of charge principle that we are already working even in this topic we are working with that see minus one plus one is zero on gamma gamma is just a photon the charge is also zero same thing is now we are going to see here so here we're talking about the annihilation now so annihilation is that one particle is coming see first of all the time is given and now we understand that the time in all of these things is moving towards right hand side okay let us create the timestamp. This is the timestamp for us. Like this. The timestamp means the time at which some event has taken place. Some or the other event. I don't know, like liberation of energy, absorption of photon, and whatever, whatnot. So this is the direction here is same as that of the time. So it means that this must be talking about a particle. So it is electron. And this direction clearly. It, this direction is pointing opposite to the time. It does not mean that the particle is going into the opposite direction. It is going into some negative time zones or something. Nothing hypothetical is happening. No Avengers, don't run your mind into those things. The only thing is that this direction into the backward direction, it shows that we are talking about the antiparticle. Nothing more than that. Otherwise, the direction is still this. So, an electron is coming downward. This is going this way and they are colliding at some point. So direction has, there is no problem with the direction, but this direction shows that it is an antiparticle. It means that it has to be positron. So electron and positron, they are coming together and they're colliding at one point. I'm calling it a T, T, the time T. And after that, you see, after this, this is after the collision. And this diagram is before the collision. So before the collision, there is one positive charge, one a negative charge. After the collision, you just have energy. This is called pair annihilation. So definitely A is the correct answer. Let us think about the other things now. Here in B, you see what is happening. Time direction is towards right. Even this direction is towards right. Even this direction is towards right. It means that both of these particles are actually particles. None of it is antiparticle. But the question clearly want to say that we want to discuss antiparticle. There is no antiparticle here. This is particle, this is particle, hence B is wrong. What about C now? See, the time is going in this direction. It means that this is a kind of antiparticle, might be a positron. It is coming here and it reaches this point. And when it reaches this point, now this direction and this direction is the same. It means it converts itself into electron and some photon is released. So this is a completely different reaction. This is not an annihilation. Might be that this is possible, but even it's not even possible, isn't it? Because charge is not conserved. So even it is not even possible. So C is definitely wrong. Similarly, D is definitely wrong. So our A is the correct answer. And this is how we understand this question. So this is how we do this, my dear student. Uh, this is Professor Varun. Thanks for joining. Please share the video with all your friends. All the best. Bye.